And now more with local mystery writer Michael Raleigh. In your research, um, you use all sorts of things, um, even going as far as using old phone books. Yes, the Historical Society, or now called the History Museum, has uh, old phone books from as far back as the uh, 19-teens. And uh, I've looked up my grandfather, and in those days, you were listed by your, your name, your address, your phone number, and your profession. So he's listed as a motorman because he was a conductor on the, on the old streetcars. What is that like, seeing the past in a phone book like that? Oh, it's, it's fascinating for me because in this case, I'm looking up somebody who's been gone since 1960, you know, and uh, it seems like a much different and simpler world. You know, and people weren't afraid to have their business out there in the phone book. It's more fun when you have to go out and do something on your own. And we've become very isolated with cell phones. You think like a person doesn't call your house anymore, they call an individual. So no one else in the family yeah. gets to converse with people who are calling. It's a different world. Yes, and there's a problem that technology causes in fiction. And that is that people assume all kinds of things are possible that might not be. You know, um, People assume that everything possible on Earth is on the Internet, not realizing for it to be on the Internet, somebody had to decide it was necessary or interesting enough to put on the Internet. And that doesn't always happen. Uh, I've he I heard a police officer talk once about the fact that these uh, television dramas in which they, they get a DNA result in three hours have made it very difficult to present court cases because the juries think the cops ought to have a better case because they've well, been watching it on TV. Well, we think everything should be wrapped up in one hour. That, that With too. commercial yes. time. <laughs> you, so you write this book, Peerless, and then you come back and you're writing a prequel. Yeah. Is that difficult? Um, I like to write in the past, so it's, it's not difficult in terms of the, the concept. It means I have to do a different kind of research. Um, I have to make sure that I don't rely on my memory. It's, this one's set in 1967, the summer of love. And I remember that summer, and I was hanging around Old Town then, which is where the book's set, but I, I can't trust my memory to remember everything that was on Wells Street and what streets go between North Avenue and Division, stuff like that. So I do a lot of research about that. And you, but you have to know where to look to find that stuff. Yeah. And I mean, where in yeah. the history museums and things? Oh, uh, the archives of the Chicago History Museum. Um, a lot of libraries have the Chicago Tribune archived. Uh, and the Tribune archive goes all the way back to 1849. Um, there are neighborhood newspapers like the Lincoln Belmont newspaper, Lincoln Belmont Booster.